Have you ever been at a family event where you're eating more than usual? You can start to develop indigestion or burning in your stomach, acid reflux or burning in your chest. What if these symptoms were more than just acid reflux and went beyond and you were actually experiencing GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease? We're all under more stress, it seems like. We're all eating more fast food and the higher fat content in fast food increases the uh, incidence of GERD. If you take some Toms or over-the-counter Pepto and the symptoms go away, people can generally move on with their life and kind of avoid those, those triggers. However, if the symptoms don't go away, the symptoms persist and you need chronic medical therapy, then that has crossed the line into GERD. A few things that you can do to decrease the incidence would be weight loss, number one. Number two, avoiding eating late at night. Number three, decreasing alcohol and tobacco consumption. For the treatment of GERD, we have several medications that are available that are very effective. If patients go beyond medical therapy, then there are also surgical options. If GERD is left untreated, people can get erosis of esophagitis and they can develop esophageal strictures, which can then cause problems swallowing. People are also at risk for a condition called Barrett's esophagus, which can then lead to esophageal cancer. If you're experiencing GERD more than just acid reflux that is prolonged and is not responding to over-the-counter medications, or if you're having to take over-the-counter medications for a prolonged period of time, you need to talk to your medical provider and come in and be seen.